today we're gonna be doing plastic on the hoop houses. Uh, it's been rainy lately, so uh, with this one decently overcast day, we're gonna get out here and get some plastic on. Uh, pups are gonna help me. They're probably gonna get baths tonight, I'm guessing. They're gonna be all kinds of muddy. Good thing, uh, good thing I'm not too concerned about the interior of my vehicle getting muddy. There's the greenhouse, right there. All right, let's get at her. So this is what the hoop houses are gonna look like. Pretty simple. Just some six mil plastic over top a, what is that? It must be 10 feet by four feet hog wire, hog fence, crimped down the middle. So it's like a teepee. And uh, just go ahead and put dirt on the sides, keep the plastic down. Plan is, once my plant's ready to come out here, I have a door cut. Oh, maybe we'll even cut a door. Let's go in here. What I'll do is I'll cut this black plastic out from in here and uh, we'll have a heat lamp up here. Like the kind of heat, heat lamp you use for like chickens, small chickens. Uh, and I'll just be out there keeping this warm. But again, that plastic will be cut out and then uh, all this plastic, black plastic, I'm gonna leave to continuously warm up this ground. It's pretty muddy out here. Like we got a lot of rain, uh, but uh, yeah, the rain doesn't bother me. So it can get as muddy as it wants. Not a big deal. It may look ratchet right now, but uh, this is gonna get the job done. I got two more to do over there yet. And we're gonna call it a day. All right, boys, yeah, you stay out there. You're not allowed in here. Oh no, where'd that other one go? Oh, there he is. That's the troublemaker. That's the troublemaker. Well, we got the greenhouse hoop houses, excuse me. It's not a greenhouse this year. We got the hoop houses done. So I'm gonna grow four plants this year, four hoop houses. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have a light in here, heat lamp. That'll be on a timer to go on at dusk and shut off in the morning. Oh, I'll cut a vent back here. I'll just cut a little flap so uh, some of that excess heat, excess heat can escape during the day. And you're starting a new hole, bud. Oh boy. That's why, uh, that's why you can't be in here. Now I gotta give you a bath. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be it for today. I think tomorrow I'm gonna start hauling compost Start hauling compost. Like I said, don't get worried about, you know, stepping and making a mess. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's early in the year. You don't gotta make everything look perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. If it was perfect, I wouldn't let that boy out there. That's for sure. And you're certainly not gonna go out there. Your hair attracts mud. All right, guys, catch you in a bit. Yeah, so it's been a couple days. I uh, haven't had time to get compost. Uh, I've been working 12s and the compost site's closed when I get home, so I'm getting behind, but uh, it's not a big deal. They're all out on the ground right now. Everyone looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull these seeds off over here. Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, go in there and just, you know, wiggle them off. Give them a little help. Give them a little help. They don't. Uh, don't give them help too early because you could ruin the, uh, the seedling. You could snap the stem. But when they're this far along, go ahead and give them a little help. They'll slide right off. Not a big deal. Don't even have to worry about breaking them. They come off real easy. Um, this guy might be a little stinker. Uh, let's see if I can get him. Eh, come on, it's like surgery. I feel like a surgeon. Here we go. There we go, that guy's off, that guy's off. Uh, this guy right here is my, I think this is my 2136 right here, right off. Look at that, beautiful, perfect. Uh, this guy right here, got a little seed right there. Beautiful. All right, so every seed is, is off and uh, away we go, I guess. I just got some of my fertilizers in the mail and I, uh, just want to go over these with you guys. 
Uh, I think we'll start with CalMag. Uh, the, um, and again, all these fertilizers I'm going to add no matter what. Uh, every year, they're the same. Um, no matter what my soil test says, I, I know I'm going to have to add these. So these get ordered every year. But uh, CalMag, uh, your pumpkin, your plant itself as well, it takes up a lot of calcium. So I know I'm going to have to supplement calcium. So uh, CalMag's a must. Uh, this is my Orca liquid mycorrhizae. I use this every year. Um, it's, I think it's good, but uh, and I got a pup out there. Oh, two pups. Um, I got some granule, granular uh, mycorrhizae and um, some Protec. Uh, the granular I just put in with the uh, in the in the in the holes that I put my seedlings in when I transplant, and then Protec. This is just a little guy to get me going, but this is silicate. Um, my plants, they start in silicate right away. And they also start in calcium right away. Because you really want to start building the uh, the cells in the uh, future buds. So uh, by uh, fertilizing calcium and silicates right away, microdosing, not a lot, you're really helping with that future development. And then uh, BioRoot. BioRoot is, uh, it's, it's, it's labeled as a root booster. But really what it is, is it's a uh, uh, booster for the mycorrhizae. There's molasses in there and a bunch of good stuff in here that uh, help feed the mycorrhizae. So uh, these go in and together at the same time. And a lot of times I'll mix my CalMag and my pota uh, my silicates in the same drench as well. Um, there's one other thing that is that I didn't order yet that I that I fertilize in every year, no matter what, and that's some kind of potassium supplement, whether that be like a TKO or a growth products, uh, 0025. Um, but later in the year after my fruit's set, I'll uh, add that into my uh, fertilizing program. If I do see something that's deficient throughout the year, like we'll say I know it's like low zinc or something, you know, you get yellowing between the, the veins and the leaves and low zinc. Um, if I see something like that, I'll make an adjustment and put in like a, uh, a zinc fertilizer in my program, but uh, this is just, uh, I know I'm gonna need these, so I order them right away and uh, get that taken care of. So, yeah, the seedlings are coming along nice. This guy right here, let's see if I point him out. Um, this guy, he might have a little bit too much nutrients in his pot, I uh, see the curling of this leaf, but, uh, or it could be that this light's a little too close. This is a pretty powerful light, um, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, all these other ones look fine. So maybe it's, I don't know, that's one of my 2031s. I was going to say, maybe if it was like my uh, 2136, maybe it was just because it, it's a different seed and it's a little weakling. But yeah, all the other ones look fine. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned. One more fertilizer that I didn't have down there I just want to bring up is borax uh, or boron, I guess. Uh, but you can get it in the form of borax which is a laundry detergent. Um, I'll put a little picture of what I'm talking about right here. Uh, that boron gets uh, microdosed throughout the year because, uh, again, if you ever uh, take a soil test at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, you know your plant takes up a lot of potassium, calcium, boron. So those are things that I'm preparing for because I know I'm going to need them. So uh, boron, another one. Okay, guys, I think we'll uh, call that a day and We'll say a wrap up on that video. Uh, as always, give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. If you guys have any uh, questions, go ahead and just uh, leave those down in the comment section. And uh, I'll do my best to get around to them and answer them all. Uh, so, yeah, thank you.